Hey guys, welcome back. John here, getting ready to review Iron Man Hulkbuster vs. AIM Agent, Lego set 76164, 456 pieces. Uh, a couple guys were building this on Instagram, really got me pumped to build this. So I'm going to try something a little different because it is a smaller set uh, with this. So see if you guys like it, let me know. Um, I'm going to try to do a continuous build. Uh, on the GoPro and see how it works. But the set does look kind of fun. I think it'll go really well with the rest of the Marvel set from this year. I am excited for some of the different accessories that this guy comes with. A bunch of people are talking about this little silencer on the AIM agent with the night vision goggles. So that's going to be kind of cool. And then you obviously have the one up top here that's flying around so I'm a little excited for this set something small and it'll let me try out some new editing video things oh huh. is this not a okay it does open up almost forgot on the bottom here we do have Iron Man rescue aim agent and aim agent so those will be what's in the set let's open it up see what we got inside the box we got the instruction book that's like three bags here nothing major and quite a few stickers for a small set so if you guys follow my Instagram, I'll show some stories of some of the fun parts of the build. Obviously, you'll be able to see them on the build as well, but let's get cracking. Bag one all wrapped up. Not really a whole show here. Just kind of go around so you can see all the angles of probably the upper torso of the Hulkbuster, then a little rescue right here. And actually, this will rest on one of the arms, I believe the right arm of the Hulkbuster. And then it does open up. Obviously, another you know, mini fake will go in there. The torso does rotate, which I actually really like. So you can kind of have them do a bunch of different stands. But it is sturdy too, so you don't have to really worry about that kind of falling apart. Bag two's all wrapped up. Got the Hulkbuster's legs assembled. We got in both the AIM agents. The accessories that they're giving this Marvel wave are absurd. Like these are just great accessories. You got his jet pack or I don't know what you want to call it, but you can actually flick these things out as shown in the video. Uh, again, you know how I feel about that, I'll lose it. I like the little lightsaber add-on. As we all know, those are lightsaber bases to make it look like it's got a scope on that gun. This guy has got night vision, which I've not seen in an AIM agent with night vision. And this gun is just ridiculous. Look at that. It's got a silencer on it. It's huge. It's almost too big for him. Uh, and then we actually have the Hawkbuster. I want to take these off the side for now, and we'll get to the last video and we'll show those. The legs on this are serious, guys. Like, this is probably one of the better mechs. Obviously, it's not as good as the UCS one, but this is, these are nice looking, nice looking legs. On top of that, the kneecap thing, you can put it over top. I uh, jokingly around said on Instagram, check out his kicks. I mean, these actually come off. These are like nice, stable little feet for him, which really add to him on the bottom. And one thing I didn't notice anybody really say anything is those little thrusters on the back. I thought that was kind of interesting. They didn't really, no one's really said anything about that, but it's a nice little detail and touch to the Hulkbuster. So that's actually kind of cool. I was really happy to see that. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's looking really good. We got one more bag to go. Excited to get the last one done. Little, little, 360 of them here but on to the last bag bag three all wrapped up all the minifigs included we have to your left we have rescue iron man and then two aim agents rescue gets her own or his own little uh definitely her by the way 
our own little vehicle that will go on the Hulkbuster's arm. So just something little, something little, uh, little firing mechanisms that you find on a lot on their Star Wars wings. Same kind of firing contraption. Do I have one? I do. So simple load and shoot. A lot of Lego fans are familiar with how that works. And then I will, as you all know, if you've seen my videos, tend to say lose them. Also rescue has these little hand things that will fire off. Oh, that was a terrible example. There you go, that one was better. But she just sits in here and I'll demonstrate how she goes on the Hulkbuster's arm here in a second. Iron Man, same Iron Man that comes with the uh, Avengers Helicarrier and I believe the same Iron Man that is in the Avengers Tower as well from this year's set. So no difference there at all. Uh, both aim agents though, have a little bit extra features on them that add a little bit, you know, difference from the previous one. So again, same Iron Man, same printing, nothing really different. But obviously we have this same agent. So same body, same helmet, uh, same little mouthpiece. But these are obvious, this whole backpack slash, as you call it, jetpack contraption is new. And then these do fire off. Uh, and then manual, it says if you flick them, they do fire so and that is gone so i'll find it later different review uh, and then we have another aim agent here which has got the night vision goggles that's kind of pretty cool that's different uh and then this silencer gun that is bigger than he is i mean honestly i think this thing is huge let's see it is in fact bigger it is it actually stands taller than him so, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, this guy's gun has a little scope on it. That's actually kind of cool if you guys can see it. So that's really nice. I will, I was talking with one of my friends on Instagram and uh, we both agree that the, the set, these Avenger sets have some of the coolest access accessories for minifigs. We were all very impressed with them. I definitely thought it was a big step up from even last year's because I have a lot of those you guys can see them over there it's so like the stark jet and the avengers quinjet so de definitely a lot more that comes with this one uh, i was really impressed with this build and kind of get to the hulkbuster now which is the primary feature of this set the hulkbuster really impresses me i think it actually has a lot of fun detail um this stuff that, you know, for a little set is actually really, really cool. So we'll kind of go from head to toe. Let's kind of get them reconfigured here. So these move in all different kinds of ways. So you can really get him into like a really cool pose, however you want. His shoulder pads also do move to kind of make it look like he is so it doesn't look just ridiculous like that, right? So you can get them into a good position to make it look good. The fingers on this really move really well. So you can kind of give them all different kinds of expressions. But again, I'm guys, I can't get, I really can't say enough about how much you have play with this arm. And then if you see on the inside of the hand here, there's also that repulsor, which I thought was really, again, just a fun detail, right? Who doesn't like some fun details? Um, this piece, by the way, is printed along with this top piece here, also printed. Uh, you know, I'm gonna brag a little bit. That one is not printed, that is a sticker, and I don't think I can line that up any better. Uh, I am not the best at sticker placements, but I'm not the worst. Um, inside the Hulkbuster, you do have plenty of room for your Iron Man fig. He just sits right in there, nice and flush. Little armrests for him. So he sits in there really nice. We'll get him in there and close it up. So fits in there perfectly. And then these shoulder pads I was telling you about is actually where rescue goes right on top of. So you just, she just fits right in there. And again, she's got a lot of play so she can kind of turn for you. Kind of get to the backside of the Hulkbuster here. You have these guys too. Again, just 
a lot of insanely small detail in this, which I'm really, really impressed with. One thing I will always say, especially these smaller sets, is just how much goes into them. I think there is so much detail in these sets that are like 500 less pieces that really impressed me because obviously a thousand plus pieces, right? 600, 700, 800 pieces, you can start getting a little bit more detail, but these smaller sets definitely get into quite a bit more detail. What is this? 456 pieces. So you just get a lot of little extra, I think, with it. And I think it's going to stand up really well next to all my other stuff from this set. So kind of moving down as well. Uh, one other thing I really like is he rotates completely. So there is no like difference. You can have him kind of facing one way or the other. Or if you want to spin him all the way around, he spins all the way around. Uh, and then kind of move down to the legs. Again, you get a lot of different play with the legs. So if you want to have them like kind of kicking out in a funky stand, you know, kicking out in a funky stand. Obviously, that is not what I'll be doing with them. But then again, some more little detail. You have these guys right here, which will move with him. So if you move more upright or down, you can move this piece to make it flush with the Hulkbuster's legs. And then one thing I thought was really cool, is they even got these little, I guess you can call them like jets that would be in the back of the Hulkbuster that was there in the movies. So I thought that was a nice little detail. Uh, and even like his foot rotates up forward, backwards, right to left. Oop, whoops. So there's not a whole lot else to cover with the set itself. A lot of the little fun details. And I kind of demonstrated that a lot during my build. I just, guys, I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with this set. For it being such a small set, like all just the little things you can do with the hands, like, right, like all just, I don't know. I mean, there's not really a lot I can, I mean, there's a whole lot I can say, right? But I'm running out of words to describe it. I'm really impressed with it. I'm really excited to get it with the other sets. I think it's gonna look really good next to the Helicarrier in the tower if you guys have it let me know what you think um i definitely am a big fan of the gyms over there pose right so i think that's what i'm gonna be kind of having him do close his hands a little bit get rescue off the top for right now guys gyms that way tell me what you guys think have a good night enjoy till next time Video all wrapped up.